Florida farmers say they're feeling the impact from COVID-19. Many are scrambling to find buyers for their perishable, locally grown goods. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith spoke with two tomato growers. The coronavirus is crippling Florida's farmers with many schools, theme parks and restaurants either scaling back or completely shut down. Many are left with nowhere to sell their product. So we came to this Hillsboro tomato farm to get a firsthand look at the devastating impacts. Nobody has ever experienced anything like this in, in our lifetimes. Mounds of fruits and veggies left to rot under the Florida sun. Demand is drying up. The impact trickles right down to the soil. When those sectors shut down, three weeks ago during this pandemic, it brought our industry to its knees. Tomato grower Tony Damari was forced to leave 10 million pounds unharvested, costing his operation millions of dollars. He was able to donate about 1 million pounds to food banks across the state. Last thing that we need on top of an already dire situation is for excessive imports of the products that we are producing here. He says imports are an additional sting to the already bruised industry. A 25-pound box of tomatoes went for 18 bucks pre-COVID, now sells for as little as five. Farming in Florida is diminishing. The tomato uh, has diminished 50% or better of what we used to produce. Just today, Ag Secretary Nikki Fried launching Florida Farm to You, helping connect consumers and food banks directly with local growers. The commodities list is updated daily online. This is a time where we as Americans need to band together support the American grower and the Florida growers right now. In Hillsborough County, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.